Hey, so in today's little tutorial, I'm going to be showing you seven ways to wear a blanket scarf. So um, in Angus and Dora, we have this blanket scarf and it's a super long rectangle. So you're gonna get it and you're like, wow. I mean, it's, a, it's really cute, it's really cozy. You're like, what am I gonna do with this? <laughs> it's like so long. I mean, um, it's a lot of fabric, <laughs> which means you like it's super versatile. So you can wear it a number of ways. I have seven for you today. Um, just a little bit about the blanket scarf. I believe it's acrylic. Let me see. Let me just double check. You can also um, you're gonna have a tag here, and feel free to cut that off because sometimes you know, um, depending on how you wear your scarf. You, you might not want to see the tag, but just note your um, washing instructions. So it's acrylic and it's hand wash. Um, and generally, I mean, generally you can wash acrylic in your um, washing machine, but I think just because of the way um, the edges are, you don't really want to put too much agitation just because the um, it might unravel a bit. So, hand wash, but it's acrylic. Let's see. So, generally, the first way you wear a scarf is you can just loop it over, like so. Just in a, you know. This is like your standard way of wearing your scarf. So I always, just because um, it's so much fabric, if you have it too tight, I think it's on somebody short, it's a little too long and I think your proportions are off. I mean, that's good to wear, um, to keep yourself warm and underneath a coat. But if it's more like a fashion accessory, <laughs> it's, I think it's better if you have this a little bit looser because then it, oops, see this is why you might want to cut off the tag. I need to cut it off. Um, obviously I'm keeping <laughs> the mustard because I have a love affair with mustard. Um, what should we call it? Yeah, so just having a bigger loop I think is actually, it's more, um, well the portions are better because you bring it up, but also you create this like really cute cowl. So just an easy way to wear it. And you can obviously layer it underneath jackets and stuff too, and it won't be too, um, it'll still keep you warm. You can just kind of, you know, zip up your jacket and you'll still have your neck warm. Or if you have it open, you can have this pretty draping still. So that's generally the way and if you want to see it, the another popular way to wear it is, um, so I have it in just the rectangle, and you're going to loop it around your neck like so. And generally, you can put this outside of a coat and keep your neck warm, or you can wear it, you know, obviously like just with your outfit too. But um, if you're wearing a coat and you want to show off your scarf, this is a good way to show it off too and also keep your neck warm. This is another way. So you've, you could obviously figure out how to wear um, the scarf those ways. Let's see, what's my next one? So, kind of an infinity scarf look with a blanket scarf. So usually you could just, with not with scarves that are not blanket scarves that are not so much fabric like you would just probably you know loop it around a million times and you could do that with this scarf too um depending I, I sometimes i think that's a lot of fabric and i mean it, it would be cute it's cute like this too especially like over a coat so that's just like looping it around but if <laughs> see on some of the sometimes um depending if you're not looking for just like warmth, but also you want it to look a little bit um, 
less like you have no neck. <laughs> um, I found if you just twist it, it lowers um, or it makes the scarf thinner and like and less fabric and it also gives it a different look. Let's see. So, oops. <laughs> Same idea. I'm just gonna twist this all around. Oops. And then it doesn't like A little less fabric. And obviously, you have to kind of play around with it a little bit. And depending on if you want this, the little tail to show, you could tuck it in somewhere. But it's just a little bit less um, it's a little less bulky. So that's another way. Um, let's see. I've seen, okay, now this other look is more like um, if you wanted to wear the scarf as like a shawl or um, if you want to feel a little fancy <laughs> or like, you know, look chic or, you know, it's, um, if you want to dress up your outfit you can wear it like this. So I've just opened it up and I've put it around and um, put the excess tail on this side like in the crook of my arm. So there are a number of ways you can have it be kind of like a, um, like a, um, what do you call it? Like a shawl. So you can just literally put it over you like this. And then you have, you can have like a, you can play around with this and have it look like a cute little cowl. Um, that's easy peasy. Just go like that. You obviously have to have your arm up. Like, um, you know, like on Pinterest where they really have their, their big bags or whatever. Maybe you carry a big bag. I don't know. I don't carry a big bag. But um, it's just something cute just to kind of keep this um, from falling down. So... And like if you have um, like a party to go to, you know, you can have your your drink or your, like your appetizer here. That way it's always, um, it keeps the scarf up. So you could do it like that. Some For some reason, I, um, I like to twist it. <laughs> so I'll, I can carry, I like to pull this and go like that. I don't know why, but I do. I don't know if it's, I think it's because I feel like, um, it stays up better, but you can do it like that too. It also creates more room in this arm. So you can wear it like that. Does it create more room? I think feel like it does. Sometimes this, yeah, you don't have as much room when you just, um, drape it over your elbows a little, you're tied to like the length of this fabric. So by twisting it, oops, what did I do? Did I already twist it? You just have more room, range of movement. <laughs> it's early in the morning. Anyway, so that's that just twisted. And also depending, like you, you kind of have to play with it. Um, but I like, I like how I did this just now than the first time I showed you, but this is kind of why. I like the range of movement of this arm. <laughs> I don't like to feel like I'm um, like a mummy. Let's see, mm. let's see. There's another way, how did I do this? I made notes because I wanted to remember. I was playing around with my scarf and then, oh, okay. There's another way you can wear it like a shawl. So if you take your rectangle, I forgot for a second when I did 
I didn't understand my notes. Um, so you have it in your rectangle, and I kind of have it eat my hands evenly spaced. If you cake the bottom, and then you're gonna kind of create like this kind of shape. And you put it over you like so. So then now you have um, kind of a diagonal here. And same thing, you can put that over your, um, your arm on the side. And then if you just put it at this side, it creates more length and more of like a dramatic um, tail. <laughs> so just another, another way. I don't know if you can do it. For this one, you can't do the little twisting thing that I did um, for the better range of arm movement. But you still have a better range of arm movement because you, um, when you twisted it in the beginning, creates more space in the back. Anyway, so there's that. Kind of just gives you that kind of um, asymmetrical line going this way. So all of the eye goes this way and you still have like, you make sure you look taller. <laughs> okay, uh, what else was I going to show you? Um, the, oh, and also like, you know, if you're going to a Christmas party and you just want to be warm, you can kind of just have it be like a literal shawl. You know, just have it draped over you. The nice thing about um, a blanket scarf is that you can kind of create like a little collar or like, um, you know, um, a lapel. And just wear it like so, <laughs> you know, um, and they'll keep you warm, etc. So there's another way. I was looking on Pinterest too for ideas, and you can belt this. Oops. I don't think I have. Um, I think you. It will look better with a thick belt. I've seen it with skinny belts too. Mm. Um, I don't have like a really cute thick belt. Um, I have a bunch of skinny belts. I tried belting this with a skinny belt and I couldn't get it to look right. Um, but you can do that. I've seen that and I, I actually think it looks better with um, the, uh, the square ones because you can position your, um, if you have a square blanket scarf, you can position the, the other, like a triangle in the back you don't have, you can't belt, you can belt like if you have the, um, the square ones. You can have it, you can position your scarf like a, you can make a big triangle, put the um, ends over you like this, and then have the triangle part in your back, and you belt all of that together. And I think that's, that looks better than trying to belt this. I mean, you can try to figure it out. I couldn't, it just wasn't working for me. Um, I might play around a little bit more with it but I mean I have seen that it just wasn't it wasn't looking right because you don't have any fabric in the back so mm, what else oh and then another way so I was playing with this last night and I did something by accident and I was like oh that looks really cute and I can't recreate it <laughs> I'm gonna attempt to right now um, <laughs> so, I just folded my scarf in half, and I have my tag on this side, so if you still have the tag on your scarf and you want to try to hide that, this would be a good way to do it, do so. So, I'm going to create a triangle, I just fold it over um, that rectangle I had. So now I kind of have a wonky triangle because it's a rectangle. and. I'm going to just tie a knot in the back. Nice little thing. What is this? And this is kind of going to be just like a small knot. I'm not using too much fabric. 
little tiny nut. Okay. So. You can have it just as is, draped. Um, I don't think it's too overwhelming this way because you it's you still have like a large cowl, but I think it'd be cute like with a little jacket or just as is it as it is. Um, but you can also wear it if you kind of want to dress up your outfit. Let me see what did I do. I put it over my shoulder <laughs> and it just looked cute. I was like, what? What did I do? And I thought it'd be easy to recreate. And then I, when I was taking pictures earlier to kind of um, show you guys. I was like, I can't figure out what I did. Maybe I was a little tired. <laughs> I don't, maybe I'm doing what I did and I don't remember. I don't know. Um, but you can also kind of wear it like this. I mean, you kind of have to have attitude when you're wearing it like this because the scarf is like your main accessory. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's kind of cute. Just kind of like kind of off the shoulder, um, gives you added warmth over here, but, um, it's definitely like an accessory, um, to jazz up an outfit and make it look a little, um, dressed up. Okay. And my last one, um, is pretty much what I did just now, tying it into a triangle, but you're gonna tie it tighter. I'm just gonna redo my triangle though. And it's kind of like that bandana look. Um, this is probably an easier way, or like a more um, casual way to wear the scarf, yet it'll look cute too. So I've attempted to make a triangle to the best of my ability with a rectangle. And then I'm gonna take a lot of fabric. So, with this one, because you're because it's a lot of fabric on the ends, you're gonna tie one knot, but you're not gonna double tie it, if that makes sense, because it's just gonna be too bulky. So you can just tuck in the ends, and it should stay. So, like that. So I have it just tied. I always like to pull one side. Um, usually it's this side of the knot that's underneath, underneath um, here. And then this one that kind of hangs over, I'm gonna just tuck it in to um, maybe here, like that. And that'll kind of reduce the bulk in the back. You know what I mean? And then, and wear it like that. Um, and depending on how you lay your triangles, it can look more like a bandana. I think in the picture that I posted, it looked more like a bandana that just like triangle shape. But I kind of liked when I was doing it, how it overlapped here. And it'll show off the little blanket detail. But yeah, anyway, those are just some ideas on um, how to wear this blanket scarf because I know it's a lot of fabric. <laughs> and then obviously, um, the way you put together your outfit will change, help you change your looks too, but hopefully this gives you some ideas on how versatile um, this piece is. So, <laughs> all right, thanks for watching. Um, have a good day and I'll see you all later. Bye.